I, I see an animal to some extent. You know, I'm wondering like where you even began preparing if you. If Which you, animal? You, honestly. <laughs> a wolf, like a sexy animal. <laughs> I was honestly going to say a gazelle because it's very elegant. Yeah. Yeah. I can kill Sorry. I don't know. Um, I saw him as someone with horns, especially when you're dancing. I, I think it's it. a great stupid. Like, yeah. um, the process was um, I wanted to kind of, you know, create like a, a, an arc. And so I had kind of five different Olivers to play, um, five kind of different books. And, I wanted each one of them to kind of have a different acceleration and a different tone and physicality and, and to look different. And I mean, so that was the kind of the, the layer of it, was to kind of, uh, yeah, play five different versions. And did you have like each one like sort of written out and charted that you could like mm -hmm. refer to? Yeah, to an extent, but I don't want to over prepare either because I'm always up for, you know, if Emerald like wants me to, to go a, a different way and you know, I just want to know the character inside out and you know, be able to go there without a doubt. Because there are so many different versions of him and, and who he's lying to in each scene. Because sometimes I think maybe he's actually being kind of honest. Other times he's lying to himself. He's lying, lying through the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you probably had to play different versions of him on different day, on, I mean, on the same day. Yeah, um, I did. You know, we, we didn't shoot chronologically. Um, which I don't mind, but you know, uh, yeah, I just had different Oliver one to Oliver five, and you know, kind of even the the physicality of I wanted to him to be a bit more, you know, with the shoulders a bit more up, or like a gazelle. Yeah, like a gazelle. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, no, yeah, that was the uh, that was the choice. I'll just say though, it's a testament to how brilliant Barry is though, that kind of leaving there being like a moment of openness because you really don't know what you're going to get when you're in a scene and it makes yeah. it so exciting and makes it feel so much realer and a lot more, it makes the scenes feel a lot more electric, it made it so much more fun. Very spooky. God, what did they do? <laughs> Thanks, <that's... laughs> I've always said um, that you're such a great actor and I never see you acting. Yeah. You just become these characters, and it, it is kind of eerie. I'm definitely not Oliver. Like Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm wondering, like, like, do you have to shake Oliver off at the end of the day? Um, yeah, I had a baby as well. Oh, shoot, congratulations. So yes. Yeah. But you contributed. Yeah, so I have no just anything off. Um, you know, it's just kind of straight into that. Yeah. yeah. You can't take Oliver home with you. When no, definitely not. Like, the police would be called. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Gotta lock him up and keep him away. <laughs> yeah. Jacob, you said it was actually kind of spooky to watch Barry work. You said that? Just now. Just put words in my mouth. No, no, no. I was, I was uh, being funny. Yeah. Um, no, it's like uh, you feel like you're, you're, you're. I mean, Barry is. Uh, he's like the actor's actor. Mm -hmm. You know, every, like you know, Barry's been making movies since. Well, before I made movies, and his movies are the movies that you watch when you're like, I'm you know, uh, I'm only 31. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it felt like plugging into sort of the source of what it is. He's like a main line of electricity. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's just nothing. But um, it, it's, a, it's, it's a good job, you know. I was wondering what the atmosphere on set was like because you're dealing with some heavy themes and material and you know class struggles, but it's also a really fun movie. And I especially like you know shooting those big party scenes. Were you were you allowed to have levity on set? Was it fun? What was it? You no. told me. Didn't they have a real party? When we had party. Yeah. yeah. Like, and it kind of mixed in. Through. Really. Yeah. You know, like when the camera was, I'd say, not went this direction. There was still a party going on. Really? Yeah. It was massive. I know most of my job was trying to stop people. Yeah. <laughs> it was, you know, we had such a fun, it was amazing. It was like, yeah. it was a like gorgeous summer, summer holiday. It was a boiling hot, we were in the countryside. We in that smelly we lake. Were, yeah, we were just swimming in like these lakes every day and just, just these awfully spoiled, naughty kids. Uh, yes. Really. Like Rosamond lived at the house. While we were filming, so when we'd arrive for work, yeah. mum would kind of come down the stairs. It was and a bit too weird. We'd also be there, and mum would play music, and then everyone's just kind of getting up to mischief and running around in this like sprawling acreage yeah. with a castle. 
I'd like to see a movie about the making of this movie, yeah, yeah. actually. You discovered a new room every day in that place. No way. <laughs> well, we actually tried to make one, didn't we? Oh, yeah. We <laughs> yeah, no, we got given notice. We were, we were trying to make you like a documentary you, of you, the making of you, you know what I mean? Were, and they were, were like, all right, let's go with this. We were like, we had a whole, like, we were trying to get, I think, a, a crew in on it. Barry well. did. Barry was. It's <laughs> just me. Yeah. Anyways. But yeah, we were focused. I would actually think one of the hardest things about making this movie would be not laughing, especially at a lot of the stuff Rosamund Pike's character says. <laughs> did anyone ruin takes by just bursting out laughing? <laughs> I think me, uh, in the upstairs room, yeah. Roz and oh, I had silly buggers and then everybody got it and we could not focus on Well, that it. seems not even in the film anymore, so I wonder that's why. That's the palace he played. That's the palace he played. I think the word positive in the Every time I came to that one. Yeah, that was um, loads of stuff. I just I would crack up every time I saw poor dear Pamela. There's that scene in that in that in that breakfast scene. You're not really hungry on it, but she's just eating marmalade the whole time. Yes. <laughs> just a tiny spoon. With a tiny tiny spoon, and I was sitting I was sitting opposite her, and I just had to keep my head down the whole. Time. <laughs> um, because.